held at ESA's Ezrin establishment in Italy, astronaut Luca Parmitano revealed the name and patch for his upcoming mission to space. <laughs> The name Beyond was inspired by his fellow ESA astronauts. From the nearness to Earth of Thomas Pesquet's Proxima mission, to the broadening scope of Alexander Gerst's current Horizons mission, Luca saw a path that will push humanity even farther for the benefit of all. I have to, I have to follow this path of exploration. We are still working for the Earth. What we do on, on a space station is off Earth for the Earth but that knowledge, the technology, the science that we perform on the space station is the only way, we, it's the only way that we know in order to go beyond. And that's why the, the, uh, I chose the name Beyond also as, a, as an invitation and also the elements on the patch are part of that concept. Elements seen in the patch include an astronaut looking out into space with Earth and the orbiting space station reflected in the helmet's visor. In the distance is the moon poised for humanity's return, as well as the red planet, currently being studied by satellites like ExoMars and Mars Express, and maybe, one day, by humans. I'm looking forward to a very interesting and challenging science program. Some of the, the new technology that we have on board that I will get to, to play with and experiment with. And then always, you know, the exploration. And what I like to say is, you know, a lot of time, you know, the space station is anchored on a, on a rail at 51.6 degrees at 400 kilometers. It's not like we're really going anywhere on the space station, but we are still exploring probably the most important part of our limitations, which is the human physiology. And if we want to go further, that's, that's what we need. That's something we really need to work on, and we're doing that on the space station. On his upcoming mission, Luca will also act as commander of the International Space Station. And at the event in Ezrin, he was joined on stage by former commander Frank Duvina. First, you have to know that uh, commanderships are, are not just something that we assign to people like that. Uh, you have to have, first of all, a space flight done before. And after every space flight, astronauts get assessed about their performance during their space flight. Uh, by the way, not only during the space flight, also during training. Every single training that astronauts do, they get assessed about their performance. And after that, this is written up in a report, and then you can either be recommended or not recommended to get a commander position. And uh, of course, Luca was, uh, was an excellent candidate for that. Other speakers at the event included ESA's Director General, Jan Werner, ESA's Director of Human and Robotic Exploration, David Parker, and Director of ESA's Earth Observation Programs, Josef Aschbacher, as well as President of the Italian Space Agency, Roberto Battiston. Astronaut Thomas Pesquet was also at the event to support Luca, as well as take a few digs at his friend. So he's, he's constantly trying to compensate. Sometimes it's embarrassing. Luca, you have to stop. You said that sometimes it can be difficult to make me look good but you're doing a great job just standing here. Oh. <laughs>